Chat with us in Facebook Messenger. Find out WHAT and APOS happening in the world as it unfolds. Relatives still waiting for news as police investigation ongoing attacker shot and wounded by casino staff, police said survivors smashed through windows to flee as dozens perished trapped by fire in one of MANILA and APOS's worst incidents of mass death in recent years. A heavily armed man walked into the resort's World Manila Casino in the Philippines' capital early Friday, shooting gambling machines and setting fires which resulted in the deaths of 37 people. Initial relief when police said the incident was not terrorism quickly turned to horror as reports began to emerge of the scores of people found suffocated to death inside the building. Relatives of a victim cry outside the resort's World Hotel in Manila on June 2, 2017. Georgina Alvarez, chief legal officer for Resorts World, choked up as she read the names of the dead to reporters and family waiting outside the casino. Of the 37 victims, management said 13 were employees of the casino, while the rest were guests. Police have still yet to identify the bodies of six people, including two employees and four guests. Their bodies were found on the second floor of the building, spread across the casino area, the hallways and a bathroom, police said. They died due to suffocation from smoke when the suspect deliberately set fire to carpets and tables using gasoline he brought with him. The windows were locked. Relatives of a victim sit in front of the resort's World Hotel, a popular tourist site in Manila, the capital of the Philippines, that was on lockdown after a shooting on June 2, 2017. A police official said the incident was a robbery attempt by one person and not a terrorist attack. Firemen break a glass window of the resort's World Hotel following the assault. Smoke rises from the resort complex, which has an array of hotels, restaurants, and bars. Police take positions outside the resort. A victim is stretchered away from the scene. It was not immediately clear how many people were hurt in the attack, which started around midnight on Thursday, June 1. Stephen Riley, the RESORT and APOS's chief operating officer, later told reporters that about 30 people were hurt and nobody was killed, CNN Philippines reported. A victim is helped at the resort. The injuries of survivors testified to the terror inside the casino, many were hurt breaking windows and jumping from the second floor to escape the fire and smoke. On Facebook, Resort World employees shared photos of their deceased colleagues, and quote it and they pose as hard to believe that they have disappeared and quote, one man commented on a widely shared collage of the victims. One of the dead was Elizabeth Panlilio Gonzalez, wife of Congressman Aurelio and quote D-O-N-G and quote, Gonzalez, police confirmed. Earlier in the day, friends and family of employees gathered outside the casino building in Pasay City on the southern outskirts of Manila, near the CITY and APOS S International Airport. The mood was tense and emotional, and the delay in releasing a full list of VICTIMS and APOS names led many worried family members to search hospitals desperately for news of their relatives. The road that runs along the front of the building was restricted to emergency vehicles and those taking away the dead. A ferry line that serviced the casino was also halted. Thomas Orbos, general manager of the Metro Manila Development Authority, MMDA, reminded people and quote to be vigilant. And quote, he added the authority would instruct shopping malls and hotels to be stricter with their security and that protocols around incidents such as this would be reviewed. Heightened security checks were already in place for the main metro line that served Pasay City. Police insisted the attack was not related to terrorism, despite ongoing conflict with ISIS linked forces in the COUNTRY and APOS S South. The incident brings back memories of twin disasters that shook Manila in recent years, both accidental and deliberate. In 2015, a fire in a footwear factory in a suburb of the Philippine capital killed 72 people. As in FRIDAY and APOS S incident, many of the dead were killed when they became trapped on an upper floor of the building by the blaze, which began when sparks from welding work set light chemicals in nearby containers. Five years before that, a former Manila police officer held a busload of tourists from Hong Kong hostage. As the standoff unfolded live on television, Rolando Mendoza began killing hostages and Philippines SWAT officers stormed the bus. By the time the incident was over, eight people were dead and many more injured. The handling of the hostage crisis by Philippines police was criticized intensely at home and abroad, and the incident hurt the COUNTRY and APOS's reputation overseas, particularly in Hong Kong, where most of the victims were from.